everyone. The grossest thing I heard this week is that sea turtles get herpes, and human pollution is probably making their flare-ups more frequent. I'm Anna, and this is Gross Science. So new scientists recently reported that more and more green sea turtles are turning up with crippling tumors around Australia's Great Barrier Reef. The condition is called fibropapillomatosis, or FP, and it's likely caused by a herpes virus. There are actually lots of different types of herpes viruses in the world. For example, separate herpes viruses cause cold sores and chicken pox in humans. But this particular one is turtle specific, so there's no need to worry about catching it yourself. However, like the human herpes viruses, this virus can lie dormant in the turtle's body and only cause flare-ups in the form of tumors under certain conditions. Now, the tumors are benign, but according to new scientists, they can spring up on the turtle's flippers, tail, shell, internal organs, and eyes. And if they do grow on the eyes, they can block the turtle's vision and keep it from finding food or evading predators. So how does pollution play into all this? Well, Karina Jones, a scientist with James Cook University in Townsville, Australia, told new scientists that the flare-ups typically occur in very localized hotspots around the world where there's heavy human activity. Now, no one's quite sure how pollution and FP are linked, but I read a 2010 paper published in PLOS One that surveyed FP among sea turtles in Hawaii over the course of 28 years. And the scientists found some correlation between sewage and agricultural waste that leaked into the water and FP. The scientists hypothesized that the pollution might trigger the tumors by changing the turtle's primary food source. In some parts of Hawaii, the agricultural waste led to higher levels of nutrients in the water, which attracted invasive algae. As a result, the invasive algae became the primary food source for the turtles. The thing is, these algae produce a lot of this molecule called arginine. And arginine is necessary for the growth and proliferation of many herpes viruses. Of course, this is just one hypothesis, specific to a particular location. More research needs to be done in this area, and answers can't come soon enough. Australia and Hawaii aren't the only places affected. Turtles in Florida have been hit too. For more on that, check out the New Scientist article. I'll put a link in the description. And if you like gross science, hit subscribe. Sad, but also you. Hey guys, this is the first time I've made a grossest thing I heard this week video, and if you want more of these newsier pieces, hit the like button and let me know in the comments. Thanks, I'll see you soon.